Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install Hyperlint on a minimal Arch Linux distribution. I will show you how you can download the Arch Linux ISO, how you can prepare a USB stick or prepare a virtual machine. Then we will use Arch install, the Arch Linux install script to install Arch Linux. And then on top, we will install Hyperland in an advanced configuration with the mylinuxforwork.files. files. With that, you have a full featured desktop environment based on the tiling window manager Hyperland. You will find all links and all commands in the video description. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. Before we can start with the installation of Arch Linux, we have to download the latest version of the ISO image. And we can do this by opening a browser. And then we can just search for Arch Linux download. And here is the download page. And if you scroll down, you see here the list of countries. So please select one country that is close to your current location and click on the link. And here you have to download the first ISO image and the download is started. It's around 1.1 gigabytes. The download is done and now you should find the ISO image in your downloads folder. If you want to install Arch Linux now on a computer on bare metal, then you can follow the installation guide, a super comprehensive guide here on Arch Linux in the section prepare an installation medium because now you need to flash a USB drive with the ISO image and boot from that. In this video, I will install Arch Linux in a KVM virtual machine. And with that, I can use the Arch Linux ISO directly. So let's open the virtual machine manager and create a new virtual machine. I want to use the local install media, click on forward. Now I have to select in the downloads folder the latest Arch ISO ISO that I've just downloaded. It's automatically detected as Arch Linux forward. I will define 16 gigabytes for my memory. I will use all my 12 CPUs forward. I will increase the disk image to 30 gigabytes and I click on forward. And now it's important that you give the virtual machine a name, so Arch Linux Hyperland, for example, and that you check back here, customize configuration before install and click on finish. Now you have to switch from BIOS to UEFI. Then you have to open boot options, activate the CD-ROM because the ISO is now added as a CD-ROM and move it to the first position and click on apply. And that's mainly it for the first step. Later on, we have to activate the 3D video acceleration before we can start Hyperland, but we can do this later. Okay, then we can begin the installation. The Arch Linux ISO is booting up now, and here we are on the welcome screen. And the first step that I do now is to change the keyboard layout with load keys DE and then with load keys de latin one and now i have my special characters for my german keyboard layout available and we can start the arch install script the install script has developed to a very powerful tool to support you in the required steps in installing arch linux the installation language is english that's fine I select a mirror that is close to me, mirror region. And then I select Germany. The installer is now checking the download speed. And I can go back. The locales, I will switch the keyboard layout here for the new system to DE. Locale language is fine. And locale encoding UTF-8 is also fine. Go back. This configuration, I will use the best effort default partition layout for my 30 gigabytes with butterfs 
I will set up the default structure for ButterFS, also later on usable to create snapshots of your system. I will use the compression and I'm fine. I can go back. This encryption is not needed. The bootloader, I will set it to grub. Swap is true. Hostname is Arch Linux is fine. Here I have to define a root password. And I need to create a user account. I will add a user, define a password, and I accept that this user Rabe is a super user with pseudo privileges in the new system. Confirm and exit. The profile. And here I would suggest to start with a minimal configuration. So only the core tools are will be installed. The rest will be installed later on with the mylinuxwork.files for hyperlint. Go back. Audio. I use Pipewire. Kernel is fine. Additional packages. You can already install Git if you like and Vim. Network configuration. I will copy the ISO network configuration, so my existing configuration into the new installation. That's the easiest part. And I'll also will switch the, to my time zone. With forward slash, I can search for Berlin. And that's it. We can start the installation by selecting install. And I confirm this configuration. And the installation starts now in two, one, go. The installation takes now some minutes depending on your internet connection and of course on your performance of your system. And that's it. The installation is done. I don't need to change root into the newly created installation. I will do this later with the first boot up. That's why I select no. So then I enter exit to exit the installation and I shut down the system with shut down hyphen H now. And the system is shutting down. Because now I want to enable the 3D acceleration in my virtual machine. It's in video virt IO. I set this check mark and in display spice, I select a listen type none and I activate OpenGL. And it's also important that the right graphic card is selected. I click on apply and now I can boot up into the new system. The system is now booting up and the boot is already completed. We are here in the TTY login. And here we are, I'm in Arch Linux. To install now Hyperland with my Linux for files, we need an AUR helper, a software that helps us to install packages from the Arch user repository. I will use Paru in that case and I enter git clone aur.archlinux.org slash paru.git. I change into the folder Paru, install Paru with make pkg hyphen si. Enter the password. and some required dependencies will be installed. I confirm the installation with yes. And here we are, Paru is installed. And now we are ready to install Hyperland with the mylinuxforwork.files with paru s mylinuxforwork Hyperland. I confirm the installation with yes. And I accept all changes with yes. A key needs to be imported for W logout. And the installation has started. On a minimal Arch Linux installation, it's about 467 packages. Installation size is around about 3 gigs, plus some more packages from the Arch user repository. 
and now the system is downloading the my Linux Work hyperlint dot files and the installation has started and that's it now we can start the setup let's clear the terminal again with my Linux for work hyperlint setup it's the version 2.9.6.1 I want to install the packages I confirmed with yes and additional packages that I can install optional packages is definitely the Firefox browser, GNOME Calculator, Smile for emojis, and MPV for video playback. I confirm the installation, confirm the font, and click on yes. I accept the changes with yes. And now we can check that all required packages are installed successfully. I run a short system check. All packages have an OK, great, and I can proceed. I will install the dot .files into the dot .files folder. I create a backup of the dot .bashrc. The system is running in a KVM virtual machine, so I can install also the environment. The QEMU guest agent. I will install STDM as my display manager and the theme. I need to change the keyboard layout from US to DE without a keyboard variant. I will proceed with that and I will not install the laptop presets. I will use the mylinuxwork.bashrc file and now I'm ready to copy the dot .files into the target folder dot .files. I will use the chipped wallpaper, so I will not download the wallpaper repository. And that's it. We can reboot the system. The system is booting up. And here is STDM with the sugar candy theme installed. And I can log in into Hyperland. The first login. And this looks good. We are here on a Hyperland desktop in the post installation script and I enter my password and I will install XTG desktop portal and GTK uh, on top because this is required to have a dark mode into the GTK4 apps. I will use CSH as my shell. Some plugins will be installed and again we are ready to reboot the system. Before we do this I will change the screen resolution in the dot .files app, in system, scroll down, and I choose here in monitors 1920 to 1080. And now we can reboot. And log in again. And here we are on Hyperland with the mylinuxwork.files in the version 2.9.6.1 and you have a full running system. And here you have the terminal with, uh, with CSH installed. You can open more terminals, nice animation effect. You have Rofi as the application starter. You have Nautilus as your file manager. You can bring Windows into the floating world with super key T. Reduce the window size, can move them around with the left mouse key together with the super key. You have here the My Linux for Work apps, the welcome app. You have the dot .files app, where you can tweak your system. And for all the details, you have also the Hyperland settings app, where you can, for example, reduce the border size, increase the window gaps, and so on. So a full running system, easy to install on a minimal Arch installation of Hyperland. Have fun with it. And that's it. Hyperland on a minimal Arch Linux installation with the mylinuxforwork.files in the version 2.9.6.1. Have fun with the new desktop environment and see you next time.